Okay, so in my in my Rube Goldberg machine, I have a total of four simple machines because I ran into a lot of problems with my original plan, which had about eight or nine. So I decided to make it a little easier. And so first off, I have I have this car here, which has two wheel and axles in it. Then. Then I have a ramp going down. Then right here we have another ramp at the bottom. Then the marble goes down, goes down the ramp into the bucket. Okay. Okay, question one. What problems did you encounter during your project? Explain. I think that it would be easier to say what went right because pretty much everything went wrong. All my simple machines messed up, so that caused me to use a lot of different designs. So yeah, I, I had to change a lot. I had to improve a lot on my machines, my simple machines, and my overall project. Question two, did you, how did you overcome these problems? Well, I just explained. I ha I changed a lot of, I changed a lot of the planning of each simple machine. I changed pretty much everything. When I encountered a problem that I couldn't fix, that wasn't easy, or that wasn't an easy fix, I just restarted with a new idea. Question three. Did all of your simple machines work? Again, no. Barely even a little. Like my my zipline ramp didn't work. My uh, a lot of like my my wedge didn't work very well, but my pencil wedge which was in the zipline. Um, yeah, so really nothing worked very well. Question four. What would you do different next time? Um, uh, I would do a lot different. Uh, going into this project, I knew that my plan was pretty ambitious, so I really just, um, Next time, I would make a whole different plan, a lot easier plan, and not make it so complicated. Uh, like, uh, my simple machines, like my zip line, I never really expected that to work very well, so. I had so many, I had like five levels, so like, zip line going down, zip line going down, ramps going down, so. By like time I was finished, I used like seven stacked chairs or something um, to hold up all my stuff. Question five: Identify two points of potential energy in your machine. Well, that's hard to explain without me actually showing you my machine, which I can't. But. Well, at the beginning of my machine, it starts with a car on a ramp, and the car hits a marble, which goes down a ramp. That, um, that creates potential energy, and then, um, and then that, then dominoes at another point in the machine, um, hits another marble, which goes down a tube, which is another source of potential energy. Question six. Identify two points of kinetic energy in your machine. Explain why it is kinetic energy. When a marble goes down, it flies off a ramp and into a bucket. 
So that's at the end. Um, that's that's one part of kinetic energy. It's like getting airborne, and kinetic energy is basically the energy of gravity. So then also a marble also hits a domino at the beginning, which I kind of said already, and has a chain reaction, so that has more potential energy. So yeah, that's it.